New at 5, the mayor of Trenton is pushing back against calls for the state to take over the city's water system. However, state oversight may be inevitable after years of water issues. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes reports. We've had no significant environmental violations in the last four years. Trenton's mayor assuring his city the water is safe to drink, but admits they need to reinvest in the troubled Trenton Waterworks, and he does not want to see a state takeover. I think it's a, an asset that Trenton, by and large, wants to keep. We don't want to privatize this company. <laughs> Trenton Waterworks serves about 217,000 consumers in five communities, including Trenton, Hamilton, Ewing, Hopewell, and Lawrence Townships. There's been a long list of water quality issues over the years, like algae, discoloration, and lead levels detected in the water. Quality water, clean water, should not be part of politics. And unfortunately, that's what's happened here in this case. During a news conference, the mayor and his administration blamed city council for voting down key projects to fix the water issues. And last week, the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection sent a letter to the city highlighting continued failures with the system and gave Trenton 30 days to provide a comprehensive plan moving forward, signaling more oversight and intervention from the state could be coming. They would actually um, uh, be in better control to make the uh, funding decisions and it would take the matter out of council's, council's hands. And we did reach out to Trenton's council president but have not heard back. And coming up at 6 o'clock we will hear from the mayor of Hamilton Township about his take of a possible state takeover of the water system after bacteria was found in the water over the summer. But for now reporting in Trenton. Ryan Hughes, CBS3, Eyewitness News.